tribulation is coming. Race wars, famine, civil unrest, martial law, concentration camps, all that's coming. You can't be effeminate facing these dangers. You can't be effeminate facing these dangers. shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be this is Jeremiah 30th chapter alright so this great tribulation is coming down on somebody on a, on a particular people, on a peculiar people. Understand? That's who this great tribulation is going to affect most of all. Understand? Jeremiah 30 and 7 says, Alas, for that day is great. That great tribulation, that is the day. It's great. So that none is like it, right? Nor ever shall be, right? It is even the time. Of Jacob's trouble. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. You people of Negro and Indian descent, it's your trouble. Understand what I'm saying? It is going to be great and there's going to be none like it. Alright? It's the time of your trouble. Understand what I'm saying? But he shall be saved out of it. But an elect is going to be saved out of it. Let's go into St. Mark. Jacob trouble, right? Jeremiah 30 and 7, it's going to be great, right? And it's the day, it's the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? St. Paul 13 and 19, for in those days shall be affliction of Jacob's trouble, right? It's going to be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of the creation, which the most I create unto this time, neither shall be. All right, so he's letting you know the affliction that's coming, man. I'm telling you, the affliction, your mind can't really conceive what's going to be going on here in America, man. The most I'm going to bring fucking uh, plagues and pestilence on this place, man. Your mind won't be able to, you can't even wrap your mind about what's coming, man. That's how bad it's going to get. It's going to get so bad, if the most I don't shorten the days, for his elect's sake, there shall no flesh be saved, man. Think about that. All right, let's go to um, Matthew, the 13th chapter. All right, Matthew, the 13th chapter. Because you know what's going to happen when these afflictions really hit? When you get down deep into these afflictions, a lot of brothers who are in the truth are going to fall away. Understand? Number one, look what's going on right now. You got niggas falling out the truth right now. And he ain't really going through nothing yet. He ain't facing nothing yet. And he's falling out. He's buckling up right now. You understand what I'm saying? Imagine when the Most High really bring the tribulations on. When he start really squeezing this world, man. All right? It says um, Matthew 13 and 20. It says, this is the parable of the sower, right? It says, for he that received the seed in the stony place, the same as he that gave the word. And the Lord with joy received it. All right, so it's the same man who received the word. You know what I mean? He received it with joy, man. He's happy he got the word. Understand what I'm saying? He's happy he got the word. It says, 
Yea, hath he not root in himself, but but dureth for a while. So he's enduring. He's enduring what dealing with the truth is for a while, right? You know what I'm saying? Your woman coming up against you. Your family coming up against you. He's enduring with this thing for a while, right? For when tribulation and persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he's offended. But when the persecution, right, come upon him and the tribulation come upon him because of this word, all right? All right? So what we're going through now, we're catching our hell right now. You know what I mean? Some of us are homeless. Some of us are living out of our cars. Some of us don't have food. Understand what I'm saying? But we're still enduring. And we're still, still coming out and doing the work. But the time is going to come when it's going to get rough out here. Understand what I'm saying? It's really going to get rough out here. Right, so we go worldwide for the world to see us proclaiming this word, the word of the Most High and His Son Yahushai, right? And the world watches us, understand? But you better believe our enemies, the government's watching too, all right? And what's going to happen? They're going to put you on the red list, all right? Back in the day, it was called the ADEX list, but now they're going to put you on the red list, right? And one of these days, before they declare martial law, they said they're going to round up the people on the red list first. Three or four weeks before they declare martial law, they're going to start rounding them up. So they're going to kick your door in. Go flashbang the thing. Come in and snatch you out. That's what's going to be taking place. Understand? Now when that come upon you, and read that again, it says, Yes, as he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation and persecution arise of the word, so because we're on the world wide web, everybody's seeing us, right? We're on their red list, we're targeted for extermination, right? By and by, he is offended, and by and by, he's going to be offended. You understand what I'm saying? That's why he said this in all Matthews 11. That's why he said this in Matthew 11, verse 6. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. And the Lord says, blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in him, man. So far, we stand out here boldly. Understand what I'm saying? And we don't care what anybody have to say. We forsake all families and all. We, we, we forsake all, man. Understand what I'm saying? But it's truth and don't give a damn. Understand what I'm saying? We don't give a damn for what? We know what's to come. Understand what I'm saying? We can't enjoy nothing here. Understand? But the kingdom to come is where we're going to enjoy it all. Understand what I'm saying? Let's go to um, 2 Timothy. Thing, man. Understand what I'm saying? We got to be strong in this thing, man. Understand? No matter what persecution come upon us, what tribulation, man, we got to endure this thing, right? Um, 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Endure hardness, man. So we are going to endure this this thing that's coming and we're enduring right now. We're going to endure it to the head. Most are willing, man. Understand what I'm saying? We endure hardness for our Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. We're going to endure hardness for him. Matter of fact, who could separate us from him? Understand what I'm saying? Who could separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai, man? Let's go to um, Romans, the eighth chapter. <clears throat> 